I'm going to do a teardown of a Hudson BTS. It's an Escort bottle. It's a bullpup 12 gauge. And the first thing we're going to do is pull out the charging handle. And we'll unscrew the, it looks like a flash suppressor. That's also where the choke choke would screw in. Remove that. Move this guard that also holds in the holds in this top uh, guard, and inside of that is a piece that has a has a set screw sticking out that that aligns with the the hole in the bottom and there's also a little ball bearing that fits uh that points out and it goes against the ribs on this uh, retaining ring. And you'll hear that when you're reinstalling it. So we'll lay that there. And we'll remove this top guard. This slides off. I've already removed the the chin rest. I don't need that. Now I'll re remove the uh, the locking nut that retains the uh, gas rings in place. Then we'll remove the the two pins. A pin here and a pin here that holds the uh, the upper to the lower receiver. So we'll push those out. Come out quite easily. And you'll need to you'll need to. Uh, just lift on the barrel and it should pull right out. We'll set the lower aside. Now, to remove the rest of these parts, you need to pull down. This has O-rings in it, so it's a little hard to move. And there's two half moon retaining rings that sit in a groove that prevents the, the gas tubes from coming off. And then these parts will slide right off. The next part to remove is going to be the the barrel retaining nut, and you'll need your your wrench to remove that, fit it into the groove, and loosen it up. And it's going to be a little easier to remove if you uh, take some of the spring tension off of the nut so you can turn it easily. Okay, the nut is loose. Then uh, take some force to pull this, pull this housing off.
Now to remove the bolt, you're going to have to slide this, this rail piece back and lift up and go back forward again. And, oops, there goes the bolt. And if you, uh, if you lift on this a little bit, it will, it will slide off, come all the way off, and you can take the spring off. And if you want, and take the uh, the barrel nut off as well. So we're going to reassemble it now. <clears throat> this doesn't really need cleaning. It's only had about six rounds through it. We'll put the barrel nut back on the spring. This bar assembly. Takes a little maneuvering to get that back into place. And it's oily, so it's hard to hang on to. <clears throat> Try it pushing down. There we go. Now you want to turn this turn this bar off to the side so that you can reinstall the bolt. The bolt has a a lock. Here you can see it. It has a shelf. And in the chamber, there's a recessed groove right there, so that part fits in it. So we need to get that bolt installed so that the looks like what the ejector goes into this the slot, and that goes all the way forward until the bolt, until that piece drops down into the groove. And it's locked in place. Then we'll need to rotate this piece so that this short bar drops down into the bolt. So I hold all that together. Once it drops in, it's good to go. To reinstall this, the rails on each side have a have a slot they need to go into. And we have the barrel nut, so we may want to push down a little bit, put a little bit of tension, a little bit of pressure on there to get the nut started. Okay, the nut is started. Now I'm going to take the tension off again to make it uh, a little easier to thread the nut all the way in. Now I'll tighten that nut back up with the 
the wrench and I'm going to snug that down. Doesn't have to be terribly tight, but it needs to be snug. Okay. Then we'll put our our gas rings back in place. So that piece goes on first. Then the uh, make sure the O-rings are in place. One O-ring. It's actually a steel ring. And there's an O-ring inside. That should fit inside of this piece. So now we need to pull that down far enough to reinstall these half moon retainers. And let that slide back up into place. Okay, it's over the half moon retainers, so now it can't go anywhere. Put our nut back on. You may want to crank down on this nut a little bit. I've noticed when I've disassembled this that uh, uh, that nut seems to always be loose when I take it apart. And there's not a real good way to hold the piece that it screws on to. Because the whole thing wants to turn. Okay. We'll install our top piece back in. And again, it has it has a place for the the rods to slide into. And you may have to tap it into place. Well, it went into place pretty well. Okay, then we'll install. This ring again with the, the little ball bearing sticking out. Get it in lined up. Put that in with the knurled section going in toward the rifle. Snug it down. Put this choke tube back on again. Now to put the barrel back in, it's easiest to do this vertically. To put this barrel back in, this piece has to line up with the grooves on the on the lower so we'll get that lined up move it down until it sits into place and then snaps back in then we should put our pins back in Put the charging handle back into place. Put 
check check the operation. It's all back together. It's ready to go.